بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس پرولیکٹینوما 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 از دا موسٹ کامن ٹائپ آف پیچوٹری ٹیومر ایڈینوما دیٹ پروڈیوس اے ہارمون اٹ میک اپ اباؤٹ تھرٹی تھری پرسینٹ آف آل پیچوٹری ایڈینوما آلموسٹ آل پیچوٹری ٹیومر آر نان کینسرس بینائن ان نیچر پرولیکٹینوما میں اکر ایز پارٹ آف این انہیریٹنٹ condition called multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 multiple endocrine ne- neoplasia type 1 prolactinemia overview this tumor causes the pituitary gland to make too much of a hormone called prolactin the major effect of prolactinoma is decreased level of some sex hormone namely estrogen and testosterone A prolactinoma isn't life-threatening, but it can cause vision difficulties, infertility, and other problems. Prolactinoma is most common type of hormone-producing tumor that can develop in pituitary gland. Prolactinoma can usually be treated with medication to bring the prolactin level down into the standard range and shrink the tumor. In some cases, surgery to remove the tumor might be an option. Symptoms A prolactinoma might not cause any sign or symptom. However, too much prolactin in blood, hyperprolactin, Hyperprolactinemia can cause symptom. Symptom due to pressure on surrounding tissue from a large tumor. Because too much prolactin can disrupt the reproductive system, hypogonadism, some of the signs and symptoms of a prolactinoma are specific to female or male. In female, prolactinemia can cause irregular menstrual period or no menstrual period. Milk discharge from the breast when not pregnant or breastfeeding. Galactoria. Pan pull intercourse due to vaginal dryness, acne and excessive body and facial hair growth. Re- reduce sex drive. Prolactinoma can cause decreased testosterone level leading to low libido sexual low sexual interest rarely in large of the breast tissue gynecomastia rarely breast milk production prolactinoma in men are often very large and may invade structure adjacent to the normal pituitary gland erectile dysfunction decreased body and facial hair smaller muscle in both female and male prolactinoma can cause infertility weak and brittle bone that break easily osteoporosis this is normal bone and here these, these are the osteoporotic bones loss of interest in sexual activity pressure from tumor growth can cause vision problem headache reduction of other hormone production by the pituitary gland female who are premenopausal tend to notice sign and symptom earlier of the premenopausal sign and symptom when tumor are smaller in size this is probably because of miss or irregular menstrual period female who are postmenopausal are more likely to notice sign and symptom later when tumor are larger and more likely to cause headache or vision problem male are also more likely to notice symptoms later diagnosis of prolactinoma blood test blood test can show too much prolactin is being made they can also show whether level of other hormone controlled by the pituitary gland are within the standard range a pregnancy test is typically recommended for female of child bearing age brain imaging may be able to detect a prolactinemia using a magnetic resonance image mri scan a brain vision test these can determine if a prolactinoma is affecting your sight your provider may also refer you for 
additional testing with a specialist in treating disorder that affect the endocrine gland and hormone endocrinologist treatment of prolactinemia treatment of prolactinoma goal in the treatment of prolactinoma include return the production of prolactin to within the standard range reduce the size prolactinoma restore healthy pituitary gland function for most people treatment can eliminate or improve problem caused by increased prolactin level such as irregular menstrual period in fertility and loss of interest in sexual activity sign or symptom from tumor pressure such as headache or vision problem these symptoms may be reduced with treatments the goal of the treatment is to improve the signs and symptoms prolactinoma treatment include two main therapies medication and surgery medication prolactinoma oral medication known as dopamine agonist are generally used to treat prolactinoma these drug may make the effect of dopamine may make means intensify or increase the brain chemical that control how much prolactin is produced dopamine agonist can decrease the production of prolactin and shrink the size of the tumor drug can eliminate symptom for most people with prolactinoma however generally need long term treatment with drug common prescribed drug include cabergoline and bromocreptine with a trade name with the trade name cyclosis or parlodel if a drug shrink the tumor significantly and your prolactin level remain the standard range for 2 year you may be able to taper of the drug prolactin level commonly rise after stopping the drug if this happen restart taking the drug again common medication side effect common side effect of this medication include nausea and vomiting dizziness nasal stiffness and headache however these side effects often can be less bothersome if start with a very low dose of the drug and gradually increase the dose it may also help if take the drug with food or if take it at bed time people have rarely had heart well damage with cabergoline it's usually in people take much higher dose of higher dose for parkinson disease some people may develop impulse control desire such as compulsive gambling while taking these drug medication during pregnancy in most situation the drug is stop when pregnancy is confirmed all of both drug cyclos set and parlodel are considered safe in pregnancy but it is recommended to avoid any drug during pregnancy when possible however a large prolactinoma or develop sign and symptoms such as headache or vision change restart the drug this can prevent further tumor growth and complication surgical treatment of prolactinoma surgery to remove a prolactinoma is generally an option if drug therapy doesn't work or cannot tolerate the drug surgery may be necessary to relieve pressure on the nerve that control vision at the level of optic chiasma it usually put pressure at the level of optic chiasma and there is a defect in the visual field nasal surgery for most people who need surgery the procedure involves removing the tumor through the nose nasal cavity this surgery is called transvenoidal surgery complication rate are low this surgery leave no visible scar trans 
cranial surgery. If tumor is large or has extended to nearby brain tissue, may we need this procedure, also known as a craniotomy. The surgeon remove the tumor through the upper part of the skull. Radiation therapy, radiation therapy for prolactinoma. Rarely radiation therapy to kill tumor cell may be an option for a large prolactinoma. Radiation if no response to medication. Radiation is performed or given if the tumor is not responding to medication or if the patient is not agree for operation. So thank you. Please subscribe the channel, don the bell icon and in the comment box please write your valuable comments for the improvement of the channel.